In 1927, Professor Thomas Parnell at the University of Queensland and began what would become the world's longest running laboratory experiment, the pitch drop experiment. Parnell's experiment was deceptively simple. He heated a sample of pitch, a derivative of tar that appears solid at room temperature, poured it into a sealed funnel and waited for it to drop. Although pitch appears solid and can shatter when struck with a hammer, it's actually an extremely viscous liquid flowing at room temperature at a rate almost imperceptible to human observation. The first drop fell in December 1938, eight years after the experiment began, with subsequent drops falling roughly once a decade in 1947, 1954, 1962, 1970, 1979, 1988, and 2000. Amazingly, despite the experiment running for nearly a century, no one had ever witnessed a drop falling until 2014 as previous drops fell during weekends, holidays, or equipment failures. In April 2014, the ninth drop fell and was successfully captured on camera, confirming that pitch has a viscosity approximately 230 billion times that of water. To put this in perspective, pitch is so viscous that it would take about 38 years for a pitch sample to flow through a one centimeter tube under ideal conditions. The experiment continues today at the University of Queensland outliving its creator, Professor Parnell, and several custodians, with the 10th drop expected to fall sometime in the 2020s. Now recognized by the Guinness World Records as the longest-running laboratory experiment in history, the pitch drop experiment continues to demonstrate both the wonders of material science and the value of scientific patience.